Ever wondered what a SPASI is and what it's used for? Let's dive into it. SPAC stands for Special Purpose Acquisition Company. It's like a shell corporation with a key mission to take companies public, bypassing the traditional IPO process. Instead of navigating the often complicated and time-consuming IPO waters, a company can merge with a SPAC, and voila, they're public. It's also known as a blank check company. Now you might be wondering, why would anyone use a SPAC? So why would a company choose to go public via a SPAS? Well, SPACs offer a few key advantages over traditional initial public offerings. They're generally quicker and less costly. This speed and efficiency can be a real game changer for companies looking to seize market opportunities. Moreover, SPACs provide more certainty about the funds a company will raise. There's less guesswork and more assurance, which can be vital for planning and strategy. But like anything else in business, SPACs also have their downsides. What's the catch with SPACs? Well, like all investments, they come with risks. One major disadvantage is the risk that the deal won't close and the company won't go public. This could leave investors in a lurch. Additionally, conflicts of interest may arise between the SPAS's management and its shareholders. Management might be more interested in personal gain than in the success of the company. So, while SPACs can provide unique opportunities, they also carry significant risks. So, are SPACs a good or bad thing? To SPAC or not to SPAS? That's the question many companies face today. SPACs provide a quicker, more certain route to going public and raising capital. Yet they are not without their challenges. Risks and potential conflicts of interest lurk in the shadows of this seemingly bright path. It's a nuanced landscape where the right choice is entirely circumstantial. Each company must weigh the pros and cons carefully. At the end of the day, whether a SPAC is the right choice depends on the specific circumstances of each company.